24K is now on streaming services, right? So who is making money from that? Fatcho and the TS. <laughs> you don't get any money for that? No. Fuck. I don't get no money from that. They, they never came out. That's an album that never came out. They spent 1.4 1. 1. 4 million on it. He said 1.8. 1. 1.4. You gotta lie. You gotta understand. Joe is always uh, capping. So he ended up putting it out just on streaming services. One point four is, is the, that's what I got. So he put it out on streaming services just to collect, and you don't get any money from that. I don't know what he did. I, I my if you to ask Cuban, how do Joe ties like what's his tie in, into that? I think he definitely he definitely sold this shit to the like the. Back in the days, he used to have the bootlegs. I think he, he definitely gave them niggas the, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he gave them the master copy and he made money off the off the top on some street hustling shit. Because he was on, on some old, you know what I'm saying? Doing doing street shit back then. You know what I'm saying? Even with the labels, with the beats and shit. You, just, you know what I'm saying? Niggas, niggas charge a certain amount and he'll put extra on top. You know what I'm saying? And the niggas will break them off. But I definitely feel like because nigga, in the in the history of TS, since we started, we used to be the niggas beating down the bootleggers. You know what I'm saying? We used to, we used to just beat niggas down. Just just if they had a, you know any any fat Joe or pun or or niggas that we you know we fuck with. Any artists we fuck with. You know what I'm saying? We we because they was taking money from our pocket. That's how we you know back in the days we seen it. But in my case, I love the boogie the, the bootleggers now. Because my, my the way that shit happened with me, it's like that was a a catch twenty two. You know what I'm saying? So so yeah, I don't get no money from it, but it was not mine. That's Atlantic's property. So at the end of the day, who you think leaked that song out? I mean, those that album out. If it's not for Joe, if it's not what his his authority uh, authority uh, what the fuck it is. Authorification, whatever. He authorized it, in other words. Because he had to, because there's no nigga, Bronx, and then the Five Lives Burrows, that can sell that fucking Cuban link, 24K, without getting beat down by the niggas who own it. And, and, and Joe should have been protecting Craig Common. That's, that's, that was the president of Atlantic Records that gave him the deal. So, because that was, that's Atlantic's property. So that you know, they, they goes to show you another shit what he does, you know. What I'm but once again, that's mine. My I don't got no proof of that. The only proof is what I know personally. How we used to deal with motherfuckers, uh, bootleggers, and for that nigga that just let a, a album that it wasn't even released by Atlantic uh, was in our total control. It was in control of the uh, as far as like it was. The terror squad, Cuban link. So it was Joe that has to answer for that, right? So supposedly, because he's the one who got the deal for that fucking shit to come out without nobody knowing, uh, especially the, the the owners of it, and they made money. The streets made money off that fucking shit. The bums make money like that shit was platinum in the streets, and that was why I gotta applaud it. So you promoted me. Great promotion. You understand? Whoever did it, I think it did. You got to be somebody in the house. And, and for, for, like I said, the, the, uh, the hierarchy, the top, you have to check with Joe. Because because if any fucking Cuban link 24K was in the street, I guarantee if Joe would have gave a fuck about it, he would have found out who was it. He would have gave him the love. He would have had to, you know, beat that nigga up or them niggas had to pay some extra money. If that would have happened without his authorization. So I know that he had to be. Because they never made a beef about it. You never heard that nigga say nothing about, yo, should have seen what we did to that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, he likes to talk about everything. He ain't talk about that. Because it never happened. Because he had something to do with it. That's just me, man. I just know. I know people. I know I know, I know. know my niggas. And I know my enemies. Those are my niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I know them. <laughs> 